All right, we are back, and today we are painting the Gravflux Bombard for the new plastic Leviathan. Um, I figured that I've already done a video on the full Leviathan. You guys don't need to see me paint the same armor plates again, but the new weapons that are out with him, you guys might like to see. So we're actually going to start in a kind of a weird place. We're going to start with Null Oil, and we're just going to cover the whole miniature in this. Um, and this is because we are... Starting with a Wraithbone primed thing, and I'm not exactly sure what I want to paint in which color, and so I'm just going to cover this uh, this whole thing in the Wraithbone. I mean, in the uh, Null Oil, so that it darkens everything down, and then we'll go from there. Um, this is kind of a hard thing to hold on to, so I just have it sitting over a sitting on the end of a paintbrush, as you can see. So it might jump around a little bit. But uh, we'll make it work. You can actually probably work it down on the paintbrush a little bit more so that it doesn't come off. So yeah, I'm just going to cover the whole thing in null oil, and that'll shade it down. And that way also we can leave spots that are trickier to paint. Uh, we can just leave them this color. Um, you can do this with a darker color if you want. Uh, I almost did it in um, Black Templar or Black Legion, one of the black contrast paints but I decided that I didn't know exactly what I did and didn't want to use contrast on and once you cover something in one of the black contrast paints you're pretty much done unless you go back and repaint but this you could cover over with a different contrast paint and be absolutely fine so I'm just gonna finish covering this here Make sure it doesn't pool too much. Um, I do know I can let it pool in a couple places, like for instance, this I know is going to be gold um, and stuff like that. So I can let it pool in some places that I know I'm going to paint over with a an actual layer paint. But uh, places I'm not sure about, I do want to make sure to not let it pool. So I think I got it all there here maybe in there all right so there it is all covered in our null oil i'm gonna let this dry i'm gonna get it in there i'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and do the first real color all right we are back and our null oil is mostly dry and now we're going to take some matte white from army painter but obviously any white will do just gonna squeeze some of this out here and we're just going to do some highlighting on the parts of this bombard that are going to be uh, the energy of the bombard. So I'm going to come in between, get a good angle here, in between these, uh, whatever these are, the nodules here. And I'm just going to paint these in this space in white. Just like that. I know it seems a little counterintuitive to darken everything and then lighten everything back up, but it's just how we needed to do it today. And when we add our contrast, the, uh, the null oil already being down in there will help give us even more definition than just the contrast would normally. There we go. All right, then I'm going to get just a dot down into these holes here. Doesn't have to be super precise. Just down in there somewhere. It can be super precise, obviously, if you want it to be. Um, oh, I didn't get much in the oil up here. That's okay. Um, from three feet away, you're not going to be able to tell how precise this white is put in. And that's, as always, that is how I'm painting here. Going for battle ready, tabletop standard, whatever you want to call it. Get the army on the board and have it be fully painted. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing in here. So right down here in the center. And then in all of these here. Uh, 
There we go. So now we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and add our contrast paint. Alrighty, our white is all nice and dry. And now we're going to move on to Frost Heart. Um, you can do this Graflux Energy color in a lot of different colors. Um, I'm just choosing Frost Heart because it's going to go well with the armor. Um, I'm This is for a Dark Angel um, Leviathan. And so I think this blue will look good with the with the black, but you can do any color. Uh, I think orange would look good, purple would look good, yellow would look good, green would look good, red would look good, really pretty much any color. <laughs> uh, any vibrant color is going to look pretty cool, I think. So I'm just going to get this all in here, making sure to get it down in all the nooks and crannies. Um, we can be pretty messy with this. The These nodules on top are going to be a metallic color, probably gold. Um, so we can, we don't have to worry about that. Gold will cover right over contrast paint. Um, and this area around here is going to be black. And that will also, even though we are going to use contrast for that, it will also cover over no problem. So I'm just making sure to get down into all the nooks and crannies here. Don't want to leave any of the, the uh, null oil or anything showing and I'm just making sure that it doesn't pool too much in the areas that we highlighted white obviously this contrast paint as it runs it's gonna want to run into these holes here I'm just making sure to dab it back up with my brush and spread it out so that we can get the effect of that highlightedness that we wanted with by putting the white in there This, these sort of things are always tricky to paint. You gotta turn them every which way to make sure that you've gotten all the angles here. So I'm just gonna go around once more. Again, making sure to get the paint out of those circles if it's collected there. so hard to keep it in focus here and get down into all the nooks and crannies. I think that looks good. I'll give it a once over after I stop the camera, but we'll continue on with these next parts here. So I'm just going to get some. All right, we are back and I got a little cut off there. Uh, sometimes the camera gets really hot. It's quite hot here today and uh, just decides that it's done. But the only other thing I did was finished up that and added the blue on these bubbles back here. So now we're going to take some Black Legion and fill in some of the armor panels. So I'm going to start up here at the front of the gun and I'm just going to fill in this one. Uh, this part here is going to be gold so I mean we can we can hit it with the black it's not a problem but we don't need to, to cover it with the black. A little bit too much water on my brush. Might need to come back and do a second coat of black just to really cover the blue overspill that we had. But that's okay. Easily done. So I'm just gonna go around here, filling this all in. hard thing to film so I apologize if uh, it's out of focus at any point. I promise I'm trying my best. Alright, there's that and then we'll get this one in here. I'm also going to get this through here. This part and this part are going to be silver. So I don't have to worry about getting black on there because silver will obviously cover over. No problem. Same thing with this thing. That's going to be silver. I do want to make sure to get 
into the all the nooks and crannies though. And then I just want to get here, but stop here. In there behind these bubbles is one of the spots we're gonna leave in the uh, the white with uh, just the null oil on it, or the wraith bone with just the null oil on it. And it actually might end up being the only spot we leave that way. I knew I kind of wanted that off-white color somewhere, and I'll probably add some more of it to the Leviathan body itself, just because that is sort of a color of the Dark Angels. Um, especially if you look at their Legion-specific units on Forge World, a lot of them have some sort of off-white or cream sort of color. So I knew I wanted to work it into this gun and this model in general, so I figured that's how we'll do it. It won't be a huge part, obviously, just a little bit back there, but, you know, still some. Um, and I think we'll actually leave this part here, too, because I didn't didn't get any black on it, so that works out well. So I think that will be all for the black, so I'll let that dry, and then we will come back and do probably do these cables and we'll see how we're going to do them. All right, we are back, and we're going to do these cables in Iron Jaws Yellow. It's uh, basically like uh, Imperial Fest Yellow, but slightly darker, I guess. Um, I'm just going to fill all these cables in here. You, you could go through and give every cable a different color. That's totally an option you could do. For tabletop, though, I think uh, just getting them a color is good enough. And, you know, painting them yellow like this, I could always come back and take some darker colors and pick out all the individual cables. Nothing would stop me from doing that. So, for this, I think that'll be just fine. Just making sure to get all sides here. I think I got them. Right in there, maybe. And right in there. Alright, then also going to do these parts in yellow right here these little this little exposed part whatever these are and then do them in yellow just being careful not to get it on the part that we wanted to leave white or wraith bone rather All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna let this dry completely and then we will come back and I believe it will be time to do the metallics. All right, we are back and our first metallic color is going to be black metal from scale 75. Um, if you wanted an equivalent to this for Citadel, it would probably be Iron Warriors. I find they're pretty similar. And so this is gonna be probably the main metallic color on here. So I'm going to start off up front here, and these barrels here are going to be this color. Just doing the outside of them first, because that's the easy part. Good. Then I'm going to come in here and do my best to just get the rims and not a uh, not hit the blue and this just gives us a hint of metallic but still maintains the the blue glow that's kind of emanating from the internals of the gun Get on here being careful not to hit those middle dots And, you know, this is one of those things that really doesn't have to be perfect. Because this is one of those details you absolutely won't see from 
three feet, so that's fine. I'm gonna come to the back now. And basically everything back here that we didn't paint yellow is gonna be this color. I'm just gonna do my best to avoid the yellow bits. And I picked those spots to be yellow. One, just because they sort of looked like they were like grates, so that there might be something like energy behind them. Um, but also because they were easy to avoid when we came in to do this color. So, two fold there. So get all this here. And all this up in here. Continuing on with our silver, just finishing up this part back here, still avoiding the yellow and avoiding the black, and then we've just got one or two more spots to put this and we can move on to our gold. We're going to have two different shades of gold on this uh, on this bombard and it may look a little weird when we just have the gun uh, but I think once I get the whole thing finished the fact that one of the shades of gold will only be on the bombard um, and the rest will be a, un or a continuous feature across the whole miniature I think it will look better so if it looks a little weird when I have just this gun done, feel free to let me know, but know that it will change. So now, I decided I'm actually going to leave these panels, if possible, I'm going to leave them this cream color. I'm going to do my best to paint around them. There we go, we've done it. This and then the sides here. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing here. Give it a once over. Make sure we got everything that I want to be silver. Silver. Then we'll come back and do the gold. All right, we are back, and we're going to do our first gold here. We're going to do this if it'll uh, focus with Necro Gold from Scale Seventy Five. And this is just going to be for this front part here. And this is the gold that I was talking about that is going to be a continuous color on the rest of the miniature. Um, my Dark Angels are basically main color black and then red and this Necro Gold as highlight colors. Um, the gold, we're going to use Retributor Armor on these nodules here. And so I think it might look a little bit weird while we only have this gun. You want to focus today, camera? Um, while we only have this gun painted, it might look a little weird just because it's two different golds right next to each other. But once this gold is carried on throughout the rest of the Leviathan, I think it'll look okay. There's also no red on this gun, even though I just said that red is a highlight color for this uh, army. Um, and that's because there's going to be red checkerboard right above it on the arm and so uh, I didn't think I needed any on the gun itself I'm just going to go all the way along here and then I just have to go back and make sure I get all the edges body first here and I'm going to go to the front and paint the front of these things. There we go. And then the sides of all of them. Without bumping the... any of the, the blue here.
Painting cylinders is just a, an exercise in patience because you think you're done and then you flip to another side and there's a whole nother side to paint. And I know it's kind of weird to talk about sides with, this, with cylinders because I don't really have a side, but hopefully you know what I mean. So then I'm just going to come along the edge here. And we are going to put some Nuln Oil over this stuff later, so this will help, or that will help hide any little imperfections on the edges here. But we still want to be as neat as possible now, so I think, yes, I believe we have gotten it all. So that will be the only necro gold on this piece so I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and do the Retributor armor. Alright, really quick before we do the Retributor armor we're just going to go back to our Black Legion here and do the little dividers or whatever these are, the bands on the uh, on the wires here. So super simple just going to Paint these dividers in of this color, and we'll be good to go. So I will just go through and paint all these real quick, and then we'll come back when it is time to, for real this time, do the Retributor Armor. Alrighty, we are back, and we're going to move on to Retributor Armor. And we are going to use this, as I said previously to paint in all these little modules on the tops of these things here. So I'm just going to start on one angle, paint them in, rotate to a different angle, paint the next ones, and just work my way around until they're all done. There are going to be a lot of these to do and it's hard to get them on camera but it's a pretty simple process I'm just painting all these tiny little things in in gold so you don't need to watch me do this for any longer than really this one set so I will carry on finish them all the way around and then we'll come back and put the finishing touches on it and call it done all right, we are back again, and now I'm going to use some heavy metal from Scale 75. And this, I guess if you wanted the equivalent of this for Citadel, it would be Runefang Steel, or Mithril Silver, if you happen to have any of that still laying around. But uh, I'm just going to do the rivets with this color. There are a fair number of them. So I'm just going to go through very carefully and hit all the rivets. then I'm also, you guys don't need to see me paint every single rivet, um, I'm also going to go through and just paint the very tops of these things with this color. I just want to break up this gold a little bit. I thought originally I was going to leave them completely gold, but I changed my mind and I'm going to paint the tops of them silver. So I'll finish this up and get all the rest of the rivets as well as the rest of the tops of these things, whatever they're called. The, uh, the grav flux nodules, I guess. And then we'll come back, put some null oil on this, and call it done. All right, we're back and everything is nice and dry. Now I'm gonna go back to my good old fashioned null oil. This is the new formulation of null oil, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but I like to mention it just in case Oh, you guys are seeing a difference in the two, um, the old formulation and the new formulation. I haven't done a one-to-one -one comparison yet, but maybe you have at home, and so if you if you know the difference and want to want to know which one I'm using, uh, I have several bottles of the old formulation left, so they may sneak into a video here or there. But this is the new formulation, so I'm just 
just gonna get some of this in all the basically everything that's not blue on this on this gun. Making sure to not leave any pool too much. Especially when it tries to pool in between two of these nodules. I don't want it there. I just want it on here. Just to give these a little bit of definition. Nothing crazy. And then get it all over the backs here. This will also tone down the yellow a little bit. I was thinking the yellow might be a little too bright. So this will help tone that down. This of course is going all over this. Just putting it on this to give a unified finish. Doesn't really need to go on the black, but can't hurt. There we go. Get it down in there. Down in there. And I think that will just about call it done. So I'm just going to talk through a couple things that you could do to improve this a little bit more. Um, what you could do is reverse what I've done here. If you wanted to go more towards the parade ready, um, you reverse what I've done here and paint the inside metallic and then paint each one of these little nodules in a color, whatever color you wanted your grav to be. Um, and you could really go nuts on highlighting all these little things um, and really making them pop out. Um, so that's something you could do. You could also come back here and have your camera focus and uh, do all these wires individually in different colors. That would look pretty cool. And then, of course, you could just go generally and do an edge highlight pass, which is always an option. Um, but for me, for my, uh, I was going to say table ready, battle ready or tabletop standard, this will do just fine for me. Um, and now, normally, you would be seeing this, you know, in a photo montage, but, I mean, here it is. This is the whole thing. I don't really need a photo montage. The, uh, the whole Leviathan is not done at the time of filming this video, so don't need to have a, an overall picture of that. So, yeah, here it is, our Grav Flux Bombard. Um, I'm hopefully, hopefully going to get a couple videos out for the other guns, um, at least the Melty Gun, the... The Storm Cannon is kind of just a, a big auto cannon, so it doesn't really seem that uh, exciting. But I hope to get one at least out for the Melty Gun, um, probably in the next couple days if I'm lucky. Um, and then, of course, the next Painting the Legions without an airbrush will be out in probably the next week or so. Uh, I don't even know what up what is up next, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out. Maybe Raven Guard? I'm not sure. But in any event, uh, if you like the video, feel free to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.